Right, just a short video to show you just how quick and simple it can be to use these tunnel traps. Because I know some of you out there are struggling with them. So what you'll see, we've got a line of hills coming down here now into a feed area. All we're going to do is we're going to trap on this line, which is this running here. So uh, we'll just try and find this tunnel and then get this trap in. So basically all I'm going to do is start beyond the mole hill and just start with a dibber and probe it and just bring it back until I find where the run is. Right, that gives there. There we go. Right, as you see there, once you've found your initial hole, put in one either side to see if you've still got the line of the run. This one seems to be coming down this way. So all we'll do now is just leave that there a second, get a spade, and basically all you need to do is either side, one cut in, backwards, forwards, and the other side in, and then you can just pop that straight out. And what you should see here is, is this run. There it is, comes in here, goes out there. Don't need to do anything with that now. They're not bothered about that bit of dirt in there. So all we're gonna do now is, we're just gonna get this trap set and get it in ground. Really simple, trap set there. Make sure I've got the angle of run to get that there. And because I've cut a little bit over with this, we use this sod, just push it back over. Then all we need. There you go, mark it. Job done. How hard can that be? Really simple. Just give it a try. If you're struggling with them, just persevere. I mean, they are really, really good traps to use. You can get two moles in them at the same time. And say, so once you find that you click with them and connect properly with them, you'll never look back. You know, really good traps to use. So that just shows you how quick and simple it is. Don't bother with feed areas. Just find run-ins, one trap in here, that'll be this mole caught.